Okay, we're carrying on looking at congruent triangles, and today we're going to look at how to do a little proof around why two triangles are congruent. So let's start with this example, and we're going to read it through. We are given that AD and BE are straight lines. Okay, that's pretty obvious. I can see that AD and BE are straight lines. They're just telling us to reassure us. Then they're telling us that AB is parallel to DE, right? AB is parallel to DE, and they've actually marked that on the diagram. I quite like to just quickly draw in that, like put in a little red or something for parallel lines. So I remember to look at parallel lines um, when I'm doing my proof. And I also just remind myself, what are the things that parallel lines allow me to talk about? And they basically, if you remember all your stuff on parallel lines, alternate angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, and co-interior angles add up to 180. So there we go. We are probably going to be able to use those parallel lines to do something around angles. Um, and then the other thing they've told us is that AB is equal to DE. And they haven't put that in the drawing for us. So let's go and put that straight into the drawing. And I'm going to put it in blue so I can see it nice and easily that those two lines are equal to each other. Now they're asking me to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. Um, so those are the two triangles that they're talking about. Um, and I'm not going to have to color them in or anything because they're actually quite obvious. If it was a more messy diagram, I'd want to, but it's obvious which two triangles I'm talking about. Just note that in most cases, they will um, actually ask us about the triangles. If you are careful when you write your congruent triangles and you write them in the right order, it can help you, right? And so if they've told us ABC, it's ABC is congruent to triangle DEC, DEC. That's what we're trying to show. It's likely that angle A will be equal to angle D, this and this. And angle B will be ang equal to angle E, that and that, right? Um, and line AB, right, will be equal to line DE. So the way they've written it up can help us see what we need to know. Like BC, this little bit here, should be equal to EC, right? And those are just clues. They're not facts. We can't take it for granted. But it can help us if we're wanting to look at which two angles might we try and show are equal. All right. But let's just think about what do we need to do. We need to prove that these two things are congruent. How do we prove two triangles congruent? Well, we know our four cases. Side, side, side. Side, angle, side. Any two angles on a side or right angle. Hypotenuse, side. Right. There's nothing in this diagram here that suggests there's a right angle. No rectangles or squares or anything where, you know, it suggests that there is a, a right angle. So chances of us using that are not great, right? That's probably not the case of congruency we're going to use. And basically, because they've given us parallel lines, and we know that with parallel lines, we can then talk about angles being equal, I think the greatest chance is that we're looking at one of these two, right? Side, angle, side, or angle, angle, side. We know we've got a side already, because they told us that these two sides are equal. So likelihood, I think, is we're going to end up with angle, angle, side, because with parallel lines, it's easy for me to find some angles that are equal. All right, before I start writing the formal proof, I do a little exploration here. I've got these two parallel lines. Um, and so with parallel lines, okay, I can see what are angles that are equal. Um, let's go for our alternate angles first. Now remember with alternate angles, we were looking for the Z pattern. If I have a look here, can you see the Z pattern? And so I have that this little angle here is equal to that angle there because they are alternate on parallel lines. And I also have that this little angle here will be equal to that one. Why again? Alternate on parallel lines. And so if I just look at my picture now, I've got everything I need, right? I've got two angles and a side. Angle, angle, side. So now all I need to do is start writing this up nicely. Okay, so let's start with the easiest one. I go A, oh, let me use black rather. 
AB is equal to DE. Now, how do I know that that is true? Well, I know that is true because they told me, right? They gave it to me in the statement. So I have to always write reasons when I'm writing a proof. So I say given. Then I want to write that I know that this angle is equal to this angle, right? And so I can say angle BAC is equal to angle EDC. EDC, right? And why is that true? Well, it's alternate angles on parallel lines. And then I can talk about my green angles being equal. That's ABC is equal to CED. Let's just check I've called those angles the right thing. ABC is equal to CED. And again, the reason for that is alternate angles on parallel lines. And at the end, then, I can conclude, because I've shown that two angles um, and a side are equal in these triangles, I can conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. And it really is nice if one actually makes sure you write it in the correct order. A, B, C, D, E, C. Because here I'm going from, with A, B, C, I'm going from the orange to the green to the other. And with D, E, C, I'm doing exactly the same, from the orange angle to the green angle to the other. And this just makes it very easy because straight away after that, I can kind of, without actually even looking, make some conclusions. If I've written these things in exactly the same order, from orange to green to the other, orange to green to the other, then I can immediately say, well, side A, C, right, is the same as side. Let me just underline it here. So you can see what I'm talking about. I can say side AC is exactly the same as side DC. DC. So because we know that corresponding sides of congruent triangles are equal, it makes it very easy if we've written them in this correct order for us to immediately deduce well, which are the sides that are equal. It's AC, which is equal to DC, right? It's the corresponding sides. It's the side that goes from the orange angle to the middle, from the orange angle to the middle. And if we've written it correctly, we don't even have to look at the picture. We can just say AC. DC, right? Just go for the letters that are in the same position. So writing the letters in the correct order really does help when we then want to make some conclusions from what we've shown is congruent. Okay, here is one I want you to try for yourself now. It is in your key concepts book. So please pause the video and try and do this proof for yourself. All right, so here again, we are given that two sides are equal. So we're given AB and DC are equal to each other. We're also given they're parallel. So immediately, we know when we've got parallel lines, we can look at um, alternate corresponding co-interior angles. And the immediately obvious Z is there for our um, alternate angles being equal. And then if you have a, a quick look here, you can immediately see that what we have is this little line here is in fact in both triangles. So what we have is we have got a side, an angle, and a side. Side, angle, side. So that's the case of, uh, of congruency that we're immediately going to have. All right, so let's write that up now in full. We are going to say that Oh, let me get a black pen. We are going to say AB is equal to CD. And why do we know that? Well, it was given to us, right? We were told that over here, that those two things were equal. Then we can say that angle BAC is a equal to um, angle DCA. And this is alternate angles on parallel lines. That's the reason we can say that. 
And just have a look. As I said, the clue is here. If they've written it nicely for us, B A C D C A, right? It's you can often go back to this to look for clues if you're finding it difficult to figure out which two things you should trying to be C are equal. Okay. And then the last thing is this line AC, this line AC is in both triangles. Obviously, it's the same line, so obviously it's equal. How do we say, in short, this line is in both triangles? Well, the way that the, we say it is that it is common. It means, that just simply means, AC is common to both triangles. AC is in both of the triangles. So this short form, when we just say AC is common, what we're saying is, AC is in both of the triangles. It is the same side that is in both triangles. AC is common, is how we say it. And then we write up triangle ABC, and this is where it is congruent to triangle. Now just make very sure you do write them in exactly the right order. Now normally they have given them in the right order in the question, but if we keep it so we put corresponding sides together, let's see, you see we go from A to B to C in this triangle. So from the orange angle, out and then back right so for this one we should also do that orange angle out and then back so it should be c d e and why i make such a fuss about this is then it becomes very easy to talk about which two sides in the triangle are equal so for example i can immediately say that b c right is equal to d a right Look at it in the picture, BC and DA are equal. And why is this true? This is because they are corresponding sides of a congruent triangle, right? I mean, we weren't actually asked to prove this. That's the end of the proof. But here, say they then asked us further things, which sides are equal? We can immediately say BC is equal to DA because they are corresponding sides. We can equally well say, look here, angle B, has to be the same as angle D, right? And you can see that in the picture too, B and D are the same. And again, you can just write that immediately, angle B is equal to angle D, and this is corresponding angles of congruent triangles, etc. They can ask you all sorts of things. They can ask you, you know, show which, which are all the angles that are equal in these triangles, etc. So you can immediately, from the fact that they're congruent, deduce that the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides are equal.